Okay, guys, hello. Welcome once again to another class, another day, something else that we're going to learn today. So uh, as always, I'm always going to ask you if you can hear me clearly. So we don't have any, any problem or any situation. Can you hear me, guys? Yes, teacher. Perfect. Thank you very much for confirming that. So uh, as usual, uh, I am going to ask you some questions regarding to the last topic that we saw. And I remember that yesterday we saw vocabulary that it was about parts of the house. So today I'm going to ask you questions regarding to that to see if you guys remember a little bit about what we saw yesterday, okay? So just let me try to put things in order here. So, okay. Let me see. Perfect. So let me see. Um, who can tell me how do we say uh, dormitorio? How do we say that? Bedroom. Bedroom. Okay. Let me see. Uh, I will ask questions like more difficult. That was too easy. How do we say or what is the difference between a bathroom and a restroom? What is the difference between day two? Restroom is uh, a toilet and bathroom is toilet y ducha. Okay, and how do we say ducha? I don't remember. Okay. Shower. 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 Okay. Yeah, we say shower. That's the difference, Jocelyn. We say bathroom when we have a shower and a toilet. And we say restroom when just have a toilet and we want to like just physical necessities, okay? So now, how do we write? Necesito que todos me escriban en el chat. ¿Cómo escribimos ático? Sin estar revisando el cuaderno, sin estar yendo a Google, nothing. Just write it there the way you think it is. Tiene muteados. Tiene muteado su micrófono. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, my bad, my bad. Okay, thanks so much, Saul. Uh, well, so I was saying that, I mean, I can see now your responses here, Saul, Vanessa, Iselda, Carla, Jose Alberto, Jocelyn. Okay, so remember that we say attic and we have to double the letter T. So the spelling is A-T-T-I-C, okay? So guys, let me tell you that today we are going to have a little exam. Today we're going to have a little exam and I will check if you know the alphabet. Do you guys remember the alphabet? Do you guys remember that? Yes. Yes. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Uh, we're going to do it now. Let's see what, how it goes. We're going to make a test. Vamos a ver una, un algo de prueba right now. So I will spell you a word. una palabra of the vocabulary that we saw yesterday. Y vamos a ver quién de todos lo escribe correcto. All right. So let's go. I will repeat 
Voy a repetir las letras twice. No more than that. If you get it, okay. If you don't get it, okay, that's fine. This is just a practice, okay? Are you ready? Todos listos. Did you understand what I said? ¿Sí entendieron lo que dije? Yes. Yes. All right, let's go. It's, let me double check here just to be sure. Okay, let's go. C, H, I, M, N, E, Y. I will repeat it again. C, H, I, M, N, E, Y. Okay. Okay. All right. That that was that was good. Very good, actually. Okay, perfect. All right. So I see that the majority of you it's capable enough to like to understand. That was that was really good. Let's do another one. That was really easy. So let's do another one way more difficult. Let's see. Um, okay, let me try to find one. Uh, okay, let's go. So are you ready? Great. So let's go. It's T O O T. H B R U S H. I will repeat it again. T O O T H B R U S H. Excellent. I can see some answers right now. Okay, that's good. Okay. All right. Excellent. So that's pretty cool, though. I can see some of your answers. All right, cool. That's pretty cool. Okay, so I think that that you are you know the alphabet really cool. So that's 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 perfect, though. So um, we're going to have an activity later on that is going to be pretty much as this one that we have. It's just a matter of verifying if you understand or, or, or if you remember actually the alphabet, because sometimes we tend to forget it, but it's pretty cool to see that you all, I mean, understand the words. Now, one thing is like writing the words, but another thing is pronunciating the words. Let me listen to Jose Lopez. How do we pronounce that word? Toothbrush. Say it again. Toothbrush. Okay. Let me see, Carla Romero. How do you pronounce that? Toothbrush. Okay. Let me see, Monica Louis. How do you pronounce that? Toothbrush. Let me see the last I'm going to ask is Iris Yvette. How do you pronounce that? I, I cannot listen to you, Iris. I don't know. You have your microphone off. Your microphone is off, Iris. Well, we, I think you have, you're having trouble there. Yeah, that's fine, don't worry. Let me see Jocelyn, Elizabeth. Toothbrush. Okay, so remember that not always, but most of the times when we have a TH there, we have to make which sound? Which sound we have to make? It's true. We say toothbrush, okay, toothbrush, all right? So it was really cool, actually. That's very good. So uh, that was just yesterday's class. So now let's focus on today's class. 
Today's class, guys, is going to be a little bit of grammar. Today, we're going to focus on something that some of you probably already know, some of you probably don't. So we're going to try to understand how to, how to use that. Have you, ever, have you ever seen there is and there are? Do you guys know what that is? What does it mean? Or when you see there is and there are, what comes to your mind? Does anyone have any idea so far? Singular and plural. Singular and plural, okay, that's, that's cool. All right. Let's move on and let's try to figure it out. What's that? Let's see. Now, uh, I will need Jose Lopez to help me reading this part. Go ahead, Jose. Okay, the expression there is and there are uh, they used to encourage that something it is or is in a certain location. Thank you. Stop it there. So first of all, we need to understand that the expressions there is and there are are used to indicate that something already exists or in a certain. certain location. What does that mean? If I say there is or they are, ambas significan hay. Hay de haber algo, no de hay de dolor. It's hay de haber. So for example, if I say something like, there is a cell phone on the table. It means hay un teléfono en la mesa. So there is, I'm going to use it when I refer to something singular. And there are, I'm going to use it when I refer to something plural, okay? So we can see the well, two examples actually here. One with there is, there is a cell phone on the table and there are apples on the table. Since you can see here that I'm referring to more than one apple, I'm talking about like four or five, four, like seven, eight apples. So when I have more than one, I will start using there are, and I'm going to use only there is when I refer to one single thing, okay? So let's move on to the next part. We have to understand that we can also create affirmative sentences, negative sentences, and interrogative sen uh, questions or interrogative form uh, when we talk about there is and there are. Example, in the affirmative form, I will need Carla to help me with this part, please. Affirmative form, there is a computer on the desk. Thank you very much. Jose Lopez, the negative. Negative form, there is not a pilot on the bed. Okay, now, we saw this word yesterday. Esta palabra la vimos en el vocabulario de ayer. How do we pronounce this word? Hilo. Hilo, okay. Hello. Now, Jose Alberto, can you can you read the interrogative form, please? Interrogative form. Is there a park there? Thank you so much. Now, let me explain you how this works. In the affirmative form, we can use there is plus a when we talk about one single thing. If I say there is a computer or a computer is because I'm obviously talking about one computer. But if I say there are some computers, can I say that? Or it will be better if I say there is some computers. What do you think? R. R. Why? Because I'm already saying computers. So I'm talking in plural, okay? 
So the negative form is very, very simple. Why? Because after there is or there are, I am going to add the word not. So automatically we'll make it a negative. I can use the contraction tool and I can say there is not, or I can say there isn't. Either one of them is going to be correct. In the interrogative form, what do I do? I will change, voy a mover the verb be at the beginning, and then everything will be the same, except that I will add the question mark at the end, que agrego el signo de pregunta al final. So I say, is there a park there? Or I can say, are there parks there? Is that correct? Do you think that that is correct? Will be correct if I say, are there parks there? Yes. No. Who said no, I'm sorry? Who said no? Está repitiendo. Este es un park. Llegaría, is there a park? Hasta ahí, y el signo de interrogación. Okay, make, make sense what you're saying. En este caso, y si yo digo, is there a park there? Sí está correcto porque en este caso, ese there ya no está junto con el verbo to be y ya no significa hay. Ahí significa, es una preposición y ahí significa ahí. De, de ahí, de un lugar, de ahí. For example, if I say, is there a park there? Le estoy preguntando, hay un parque ahí? Hay un parque ahí? Is there a park there? So it might be a little bit confusing. Puede sonar un poco confundido or something like that. It, I mean, it can be confusing at the first time. But once you understand how to, how to use it or how to speak or how to use those words, it's going to be really easy. So with the information or with this information that I just said, do you have any questions so far, guys? Is there any question? No. No, Not at all? Wow. Okay. ¿Existe alguna manera contractada de decir there is? I'm, I'm sorry, say that again. Sí, ¿cómo sería la forma contractada de decir there is? There is. All right. Let me, let me explain it here. Okay, let's check. ¿Cómo se escribiría? If I have something like, if I want to contract, let me double check. I will have to stop sharing. Let me see. I will stop sharing because I need to change, I need to change the keyboard I use in the computer. Okay, let me, okay. Now let's see, let's go here. All right, here we go. So here, if we want to make the contraction, we can say there's or a there isn't. That happens, eso solo pasa con there is. Porque si yo tengo there are, yo no puedo decir there are. That's impossible. That's an X. Never ever do that. But I can make the contraction with the verb be, and I can say there aren't. That's the only contraction that I can do with there are. But with there is, I can do these two contractions. I hope it answers to your question, Saul. Well, so if there's no more questions, now let's go to their art. And we have some examples right here. Volunteer to help me with the affirmative form.
there are three chairs in the classroom. Thank you very much. Now, uh, Rosa, I saw that you raised your hand. Tell me with the negative, please. Uh, negative form. There are nuts orange in the fright. Okay, now Wait. we have, uh, I'm sorry, uh, Jose, uh, to interrupt you. Uh, well, here, because we're talking about Pluto, we have to say oranges oranges we don't say orange because orange is just one so we have to say oranges because we're talking about more than one orange jose alberto let's let's continue with you are there two uh, smartphones are there two smartphones okay uh that's that's perfect another thing that i want to tell you guys is that when we have the plural it's very important to make the sound of the letter s clear because sometimes we tend to forget uh, the pronunciation of the letter s but the pronunciation of the letter s at the end of the plurals is very important so they can understand or people can understand that you're talking in plural and no longer in singular okay so as i was saying to saul in this in this uh situation where we have there are we, the only contraction that we can do is that in the negative, we can say there aren't. That's the only contraction that we can do. So you can say there are not or there aren't. The, the best one or the one that you feel comfortable with, con el que se sienta más tranquilo al hablar. So if you think that it's better for you to say there are not, Si siente que es mejor para usted decir there are not, perfect. But if you think that it's better for you to say there aren't, it's up to you, okay? Now, with the information that I just said, do you guys have any questions so far? So far, so repeat, repeat a fridge a pronoun. Hey, I'm sorry, I didn't understand. Can you say that? Uh, La pronunciación de Fritz, no sé, no, no, no recuerdo bien cómo se, se pronuncia. Oh, do you mean this one? Four. Negative this four. One? Yes. Oh, this one. The negative? They are not orange. Fritz. Fritz. Yeah, we say Fritz. There are not oranges in the Fritz. Now, let me ask you, what's Fritz? ¿Qué es eso? What's Fritz? that contractado de la refrigeradora. nevera o congelador so how do we say refrigeradora the long way how do we say that como resumido la, la palabra uh -huh. decir, so what is the long ¿Cuál es la palabra la refrigerator larga? refrigerator okay that's refrigerator okay that's cool <laughs> So, uh, is there any question so far? Something that is not clear? Algo que no esté claro para los demás? Esta semana vamos a tener eh, una mini evaluación, guys. So, I need you to ask the questions, las preguntas que sean necesarias para que no vayan a salir mal, okay? So, ask as many questions as you have, okay? Questions, no preguntas. Can I move on to the next part? Are we clear? Si estamos claros, como que ahorita hacemos un examen. Todos sacamos buena nota, ¿sí? I know what happened with the other ones. No sé lo que les pasa a los demás, pero siempre son las mismas personas participando. The other ones never participate. I don't know why. So we always take that into consideration, guys. Remember that every single time that you participate is, I mean, you're helping and you're improving your pronunciation because if you do not participate, I mean, how are you going to know that you are not or that you are pronouncing the words correctly? So I encourage the other ones Para que también participen, ¿verdad? It's, I mean, I understand that 
you're probably, you might be scared or you don't know how to pronounce words. Pero así se aprende. Si usted, nadie le dice eh, que está pronunciando mal, usted va a seguir pronunciando la palabra de la misma forma que usted piensa que es. So that, in that, in that way, we learn. Learn how to say things, okay? So let's move on because nobody has questions. So here we have very important things. Lo que le venía diciendo a uh, Saúl, I guess. Yes. Um, here we have a very important information that you always have to remember. It says there is... Its contraction is theirs. See? There is a good song on the radio. Let me see. I would like to listen to... Let me see who else would like... Oh, Rina. See you there. Can you help me, Rina, uh, with uh, uh, repeating this part? Can you make the pronunciation of that? There is good sounds on the radio. Now, try to make the contraction. Try to make the contraction. Say it again. There's a good song on the radio. The radio. Do it, do it you please. You do it. There is, there is a good song on the radio. On the radio. Okay, very good. That's perfect. So now let's move on to the part of there are. It says here, there are cannot contract. There are. As I said, we cannot say there. That's, it sounds weird. Sounds bizarre when you pronounce that. Sounds rare. So you cannot say there. So we just say there are as i told you before we obviously can make the contraction of the verb be with the word not and we say there aren't or there are not but we can never ever make the contraction with there and are that's pretty obvious so let's move on let's see what else we have here now we have some examples here and I will need, let me see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. I will choose some people. Denise, I need you to help me with the first, with this one right here. There's a computer. Thank you very much. Let me see, Julia Yesenia, this one. There's an um, exercise bike. Thank you very much. Vanessa Gabriela, last one. There are some DVDs. Thank you very much. Griselda, this one right here. Is there a telescope? A telescope. Thank you very much. Iris Sivet, this one here. Are there any bedrooms? Are there, okay, there. We don't say there. Because if you say there, si lo dices de esa manera, me estás diciendo un, un venadito, un venado. So we, we, don't say, we don't want you to say that. So we say, are there any bedroom? Okay, perfect. So now let me see Jocelyn, Stephanie. Tell me with this negative, please. There isn't a TV. There isn't a TV. Thank you very much. And Sofia, que hoy está bien callada, Sofia. This one right here. There aren't any beds. Okay, there aren't any beds. Very good. And now the last part, which are the answers of the questions. I will need the affirmatives for Carla and the negatives for Jose Lopez, if you don't mind. Uh, 
Uh, yes, there is. No, there isn't. Mm -hmm. Now, Jose. Yes, there are. No, there aren't. Thank you very much. Now, let me tell you guys that these two things that we have here, this we call it short answers, respuestas cortas. If someone asks you, si alguien le hace una pregunta como, is there a telescope? Hay un telescopio? You can say, yes, there is. Si hay. No, there is not. Or there isn't. So these ones, we call it short answers. Okay? So keep that in mind for the next time. Uh, with this information that we just saw, do we have any questions so far or everything is clear as the water? Clear as the water? Yes, it's clear. clear. Perfect. So let's move on. And here we have everything, pretty much everything that we just saw. This is the general information about everything. So let's try to understand this mix of things. Vamos a tratar de entender este desorden que se ve ahí. Okay? So. All right, that I'm a little bit sick, so it's my throat gets dry just a little bit. Okay. So here we have some examples of using there is with a singular noun. Con un sustantivo that is singular. So I say, there is a book, the desk. I use there are with the plural nouns. We are already know that. So I can say there are books on the desk. But I can also use uncountable nouns. Sustantivos incontables, como el agua, la leche, uh, what else? Um, oil, el aceite, I cannot count. Oh, la lluvia. Uh, yeah, the rain. That's all that I cannot count. So, what I have cuando tengo sustantivos como esos, I will use, voy a utilizar esta palabra, some. So, I will say, there is some milk in the fridge. Hay un poco de leche en el refrigerador. There's some milk in the fridge. Okay? So let's try to keep that in mind. The negative form, we already know the negative form, so I'm not going to focus that much on that because you already know. We have there isn't, there aren't, and there isn't once again. That's pretty much the, um, the same that we just previously saw. Remember, we can say there is not or there isn't. There are not or there aren't. That's it. That's the only thing that we just have to remember. Now, here we have the explanation for the questions. Aquí tenemos la explicación para las preguntas. Cualquier oración en afirmativo yo la puedo hacer pregunta. For example, tenemos la sentence, la oración. There is a cat on the chair. ¿Qué es chair? What's chair? Sí. 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 Excellent. So now, ¿qué es lo que hago para formar una question? Cambio el verbo to be al inicio. Luego pongo there. Y dejo todo como estaba. Y al final. What, El signo. Question mark. Yes. So. Automatically. Automáticamente con hacer eso. It's a question. All of a sudden. It's a question. You see. It's not complicated. We just have to know. What do we have to do. Solo tenemos que saber. Qué es lo que vamos a hacer. So we don't make any mistakes. Lo mismo pasa con there are. Yo tengo la oración. There are cats on the sofa. 
cambio el R al inicio, luego there, luego dejo todo the same, y luego question mark. Boom. That's it. Let me ask you, a uh, Rina Margarita, if I ask you the question, si yo le pregunto a usted, ¿cuál, ¿cómo respondería esta pregunta? Is there a cat on the chair? What would you answer me to that question? ¿Cómo respondería? Rina. Steph, Sophia Stephanie, thank you very much. Go ahead, Sophia. Um, no, there aren't cats there. in the chair. <laughs> uh -huh. So the question was, is there a cat on the chair? Mm. There are not. There are not. Things. Okay, good try. That was a good try. There Thank are. you very much. Okay. All right, someone else. Let me see. Well, Jocelyn. Jocelyn, if I ask you the question, is there a cat on the chair? What would you say? Mm. Para mí es, uh, there is cat of the sofa. Okay, I see uh, Jose Lopez. I see that you raise your hand. Yes, there is. Yes, there is. No nos vamos a complicar. Si alguien me... Esa es la respuesta corta. Si alguien me dice, is there a cat on the chair? Yo creo que todos andaban buscando como contexto. Pero si queremos responder de una manera corta y precisa, yo solo digo, yes. There is, or no, there is not. I saw Vanessa. I saw that you raised your hand. Now, let me ask you. If I ask you the question, are there cats on the sofa? What would your answer be, Vanessa? What would you say to that question? Yes, there are. Yes, there are, or no, there aren't. Simple as that. So we don't have to complicate that much. Now, we can just see in this part, this part that we can use, podemos utilizar WH questions or how many, para querer saber cuántos. For example, if I ask the question, how many students are there in your class? Let me see, um, Carla. If I ask you the question, how many students are there in your class? What would you say to that? Um, 17 students. Okay, 17. Uh, 16 students. Uh, okay. okay, perfect. Uh, en ese caso, Saul, si alguien pregunta, how many students are there? Ya no podemos responder yes or no. A partir de ese momento, las respuestas con yes or no se acaban. ¿Por qué? Porque ya tengo un, una WH question al inicio. Voy a responder yes or no cuando tenga preguntas como estas, como are there or is there. De lo contrario, si tengo algo antes que eso, ya no puedo responder Yes, are there, or yes, or no, no. En ese caso, yo voy a decir, if someone asks me, si alguien me pregunta, hey, how many students are there in your class? Yo puedo responder y decir, there are 17 students. Or, de una forma precisa, puedo decir, 17. Mm -hmm. But, I can also say there are 17 students. Now, if someone asks you the question, how many days are there in February? ¿Cuántos días hay en February? Jose Alberto, what would you say to that question? Say that again. 
28. 28. Una, una respuesta más elaborada, ¿cómo la diría? Sería are 28 days. No. There are 28 days. There are 28 days. Ok. Eight. Remember, okay. La, la respuesta elaborada siempre debe contener there are o there is, dependiendo lo que escuchen en la pregunta. If in the question you listen, si en la pregunta usted escucha is there, usted puede responder there is. Si en la pregunta usted escucha are there, usted va a responder there are. Okay? Follow the logic. It's just logical. Okay? And of course, in this part, last part, we just had the contractions. The contractions that we can use, all the contractions that we have, and that's pretty much it. So, with all this information, all those things that we just checked, do you guys have any question? In the area of the questions, podríamos, no sé cómo decirlo en inglés, eh, podríamos eh, usar el, como por ejemplo, en mi pens, eh, o sea, incontables. Yeah, 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 we can say uncountables and we can use countable nouns, all of them. Yeah, okay. all of them are, are, you can use them there. Mm -hmm. Any other questions so far, or, or that's pretty clear? Silence. Siempre, silence siempre que vamos a preguntar, entonces vamos a utilizar, bueno, en una negativa sería any. There okay. isn't any, for example, or oh, there aren't any pens here. No, 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 uh, uh, I mean. Yes. That word, esa palabra any, ahí solamente se utiliza para enfatizar. Uh -huh. For example, if I say there aren't any pens, no hay ningún lapicero. En doblemente enfatizar que no hay ninguno. Pero yo puedo decir there aren't pens, no hay lapiceros. So it's up to you. Si quieres enfatizar más, you use any. If you don't want to emphasize, You can simply use their art, and that's not a problem. No hay problema. Thank you. Sí. Okay. All right. Any other question? Well, as I was saying, silence has more than a thousand words, so we're going to move on. All right. Let's practice what we just saw. You already know what we have to do. Take a screenshot uh, in your phones or your computers. I don't know what you're using. And then we can go and move on to the work, uh, the breakout rooms. So let me know when you take the screenshot so I can move to the next one. Can I move? Yes. I take that yes. and I say yes. Yes. That's number two. This is number three. And number four, we have a lot today. Ponga nuevamente la primera, por The first one, let me double, let's go back. This one. Thank you. All right, so that's pretty much it, guys. That's all what we're going to be working on. 
And let me stop share. A favor, I'm going to ask you for a favor. Para todos. Si a partir de este día, si usted sabe cómo decir algo en inglés cuando estemos en los breakout rooms, les voy a pedir de favor decirlo en inglés. He visto que la mayoría se van ahí y como ahí no está el teacher, todos empezamos a hablar español, 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 español. No. If you know, si ya sabe cómo decir algo, say it in English. Si no sabe cómo decirlo, that's fine. ¿Sí? Está bien. But I want you to start practicing your English. Empezar a hablar entre nosotros inglés. ¿Ok? Are we clear? Si estamos claros. Yes. Yes, yes teacher. Yes, I will teacher. Be... I will be checking, voy a estar verificando que todos, al menos alguna palabrita que ya saben, la estén diciendo, ¿ok? There's no excuses, no hay excusas. So, let's go to your groups and I will be checking all of you there. Denise and Gab Griselda, are you having any situation? So you can you not connect to, to your group or what's going on? Okay, great. has to go to a solution it's a house of pillars there 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 is there are there, there are, are. are are it's the plural are There is one. There is one bedroom. There is one bedroom. There is. But there isn't. There isn't. A normal bed. In that bed. There isn't. There are from mirror shares. There are shares from. From. Donde vayamos al cine sin mantequilla las tenemos que pedir. Sí. There are shares from. Vamos a llevar nuestra mantequilla. Ah, uh -huh. No. Y la forma negativa. Sí. They are they they 
one bedroom. No, and but then in forma negativa, there isn't a normal, a normal bed, bed in bed. it. Es negativo. The bed, the bed is brown bottom. They are chairs, chairs, They are chairs. There are chairs. They are chairs. From There are chairs from In the next. They aren't. They there aren't. Bottles in the roof and the door. And the door. In the next. It's there the is the door. Or they plastic. In the, door in the box. Or plastic. The boxes in states in la puerta in fact there aren't many new things uh, because uh, they aren't many new things in Alfred's house they aren't serious right? Yes. Pero no sería al revés. Are they any? Porque es pregunta. Pero diría yo que hasta el final viene la pregunta. Ajá. Porque, la que sí. Porque aquí hay un punto. Pero sí. There, there aren't many new things in Alfredo's house. Dice que no hay muchas cosas. Es, es snake and graces. Snake, I can see the snake. Um, no, no, it's called false. Yeah. What is the correct pronunciation for false? False, false. Teacher? false. <laughs> there we say false. False, okay, false. false. There are some flowers. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's true. Yes. Okay. True. There is a pole. A pole, pole. Purple, yeah. Jack. Yeah. Where is? Yeah. Yes. Y eso cada uno lo vamos a mandar o, o como en grupo. Me imagino que nos van a preguntar en la, en la clase. Nos van a hacer para. Sí. Eh, Sería. Para el falso. Sí. Dear is a snack. Hay snack sería como golosina, ¿verdad? Sí. Uh -huh. Entonces pregunta si hay snack o golosinas. Eh, ¿Usted qué sí. dice? Sí, hay. Ahí veo una dona. Ah, entonces es verdad. Sí, hay una es, dona. Es true. Sí. Es true. Es true. Lo que dice, they are some flowers. flowers. Flowers, hay que si hay flores, ¿verdad? Flores, yes, ajá. Uh -huh. Sí, sí, es true. true. Uh -huh. El siguiente es de ir a purple jacket. Jacket. Um, Una chaqueta. I... Um, there are two black cats. Mm, false. 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 Así solo hay uno. Okay. False. Okay. 
complete. Complete. Look, let's just, is there or? ¿Qué dicen en la primera? Are there? Are. Are there apple. any apples? Are there? Are there? Apple. Are there? La siguiente. Well, okay, we're just gonna wait for the other ones to return to the main session. So we can check what happened, okay? So I can see that some of them are still there in their groups. So we're just gonna wait for them to come back. Okay. All right, so we're just going to check the first exercise, which is this one. And I would like Denise and the two Jocelyns. Denise, I want you to help me with the first one, Jocelyn with the J, the second one, and Jocelyn with the Y, this one. Okay, so let's go. The first. Yeah, Denise, the first one. Mm. Is there a rubbish on the streets? Is there rubbish in the streets? That's perfect. Thank you very much. That's good. Now, Jocelyn with the J. Uh, there are there are old folders and paper everywhere. Everywhere. Thank you very much. Now, Jocelyn with the Y. There are thousands of bottles in his house. There are thousands of bottles in the house. Very good. Now, uh, Carla. Mm, there is one bedroom, but thank you very much. There isn't. Okay, let's 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 go. Say the next. Um, but there isn't a normal bed in it okay perfect jose lopez the next one are chairs there there are chairs from bottles too there are chairs chairs from bottles too now let me see saul Saul. There are balls in the roof and the door. Thank you very much. Now let me see uh, Sulma. This one. There is old plastic CD box. Okay, ahí 
aquí está un truco, porque aquí hablamos de, la, de, la, de las cajas, cajas de CD, de, CD de, plan. de plástico viejo. Uh -huh. Entonces hablamos de las cajas. De las cajas, entonces so sería, have, there mm -hmm. are. There are, ok. okay. Well, let me see, uh, José Alberto. There aren't many new things in Alfredo's house. Thank you very much. And we go with Sofia, the last one. There any house like this in your country? Say that again. There are any house like this in your country? There are. Are you sure that we use there are there? Mm, sorry, I don't is, know there, I Are understand. there because it's a question. <laughs> That's a question. And so we say, are oh, there okay. any houses like this in are your country? Are there any houses like this in your country? Okay. Okay, that's perfect. So guys, that's going to be all for today. So thank you so much for coming to the class today. Uh, remember to keep working on the platform and because uh, we are going to be checking your progress on Friday. So try to check until, well, I mean, try to work until the section number three. And if you have any questions, do not forget to ask the questions through the WhatsApp group, okay? Thank you so much for being here and your participation. Have a good night and see you tomorrow, okay? Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night. Thank, you. Thank you, teacher. Good night.